For all five ways to play, the goal is to be the fastest player to find a match. Then, depending on the game, follow those specific instructions. Let's get into game number one, the tower. After shuffling, deal one card to each player face down and put the rest of the pile face up in the middle. At the same time, players will flip over their card and try to find the matching symbol between their card and the card in the center. When you find the match, call it out and take the center card into your hand. Now use the new top card to try to match with the middle. Keep doing this until there are no cards left in the draw pile. Whoever has the most cards wins. Game number two, the well. After shuffling, place one card face up in the middle and deal the rest face down to all the players. The object of this game is to be the first to get rid of all your cards. At the same time, players flip over their entire pile so they're face up, then try to find a match between their card and the one in the middle. When they do, you place the card from your hand onto the pile in the center. Keep doing this until one player runs out of cards. That player is the winner. Game number three, Hot Potato. This game is played in multiple rounds. After shuffling, deal one card to each player face down and then place the remaining cards aside. Decide how many rounds you want to play and the minimum number of rounds is five. The object of the game is to have the least amount of cards when all of the rounds have been played. At the same time, players turn over the card in their hands. The card must be held flat in the palm of a steady hand. When you spot a match between your card and another player's, you'll call it out and place your card on top of theirs. If you have two or more cards, you will only look at the top card and when you find a match, you will pass all of the cards in your hand to the other player. Keep going until one player has all the cards. That player will take those cards and place them in their discard pile. Then start a new round. At the end of the final round, the player with the least amount of cards is the winner. Game number four, the poisoned gift. After shuffling, deal one card face down to each player and place the rest in the middle face up. The object of the game is to have the least number of cards. At the same time, players flip over their cards. In this game, you will try to find a match between another player's card and the middle pile. When you do, call it out and grab the middle card and place it on that player's pile. The revealed card on the center will be the ones that player will try to match next. Continue playing until the draw pile is gone. The player with the least amount of cards is the winner. Game number five, triplet. Place all of the cards face down in a pile. The object of the game is to collect the most cards. One player will take the first nine cards and place them face up in a three by three grid. Then at the same time, all players try to find a set of three matching cards. When they do, call it out and add it to your personal pile. Then you will replace them with three new cards. When there are less than nine cards in the middle and there are no more sets to match, the game is over and the player with the most cards is the winner.